Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to use the dash ATTF tag. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to use the dash ATTF tag, please check the link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development level is here. Under this, you can see list of topic wise playlist available with different task classes. Right, and if you need any help related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Plus, source code also available in the GitHub, and we have some social media pages. Make sure you can follow, and yes, yeah, don't forget to subscribe this channel to get the latest notification. Let's back to our main topic like how to use the Dask ATTF tab, right, in the QWeb template, especially to generate a PDF report. So let's say Odoo training, custom add-on, you have reports and here you can see we already created many templates, right? And now in our last session we already discussed about the DAF entity tag. Now let's say if I want to add some conditional parts, right? In the T DAF ATT, especially for the reporting purpose, that time we can also use T DAF ATT app. The like rest everything is the same you can whatever you are using here right to generate a dynamic label it is also support in this tag also right so let me comment this part let me show you how we can add a dynamic value so that's the t dash a t t f and then like here we have to use our own like let's say the attribute name right and here let me add here something like background color and the color should be dynamic right so let's say I'm going to here in the student profile let me open this one and you can see the roll number is here right we have to add here the color name so roll number field name is roll underscore number right let's say hello this is dynamic color change or something like this and here let's say if you want to add some dynamic content compulsory you have to provide has in a curly bracket and here you have to give the specific instance name like let's say the doc dot roll underscore number that's it and out of this curly bracket you can add here normal tag like this so this is a normal tag but this is not a normal tag this is a dynamic value and it will generate right in this in this curly brushes if you will use this one without curly brushes it won't be work right so let's see line by line uh, let me also upgrade this module but i will upgrade from the back end side you can see already i configured if you don't know how to configure Python with Odoo, you can visit the editor playlist. I already explained. Let me upgrade the module first. I'm going to here in the form, and you can see here the yellow is here, right? So you can see the yellow background color in the P tag. All right. Now let's say you want to add any other color. Let's see cyan. You can see it changed based on the dynamic right. Let's say orange. Alright, so like this way you can add a dynamic value here. Now let's say what about the conditional statements, right? Let's say there is a few conditions and based on that you want to change here the color. So that time we can use the p dash attf you can see here the id is for right for this student let's say for this student is the tree now let me add here one condition for the condition we have to remove this has sign we have to add a double curly braces like this all right like let's say if right 
the doc dot roll number is provided so we can use that color all right or else we can use here a red color so our simple motto is let's say something is written in the roll number as a color right you can see here right now we added as a center but this is not a color right but something is added in this field so it will treat as a color name here or else we can use by default as a red if we didn't provide here anything all right so for that let me upgrade the module and i'm trying to print now you can see the center so by default you can see the it will took a specific color otherwise it won't be took any color here now let's say i'm trying to add one more color so let me add here yellow and now i'm trying to print you can see it's print as a yellow right and now i'm going to in another student profile let's say ramu now okay so ramu have is some roll number all right so this roll number field is blank right now right so by default it will print as a red color right so this is a conditional that attribute you can change in the attribute level using attf attribute right in case you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in the next session and our next session should be like how to inherit any specific template please check that discussion also all right